If you've lived in southeast Louisiana, you know what a unique and special place it is, but of course it has its challenges too. And tonight we know what challenges you say are at the top of the list. Here's Jacqueline Quinn with your thoughts. Christmas time, the part of the year where people are feeling spirited and the pinch in their wallet. I just had a baby. <laughs> like, we have to budget, budget, budget. Chloe Warren from Gentilly is in search of the perfect holiday evergreen at the Toy Soldier Tree Lot in Lakeview. Right now, I'm the happiest I've ever been. Warren has quite a rosy outlook, and we happened to talk to her the same day the University of New Orleans released its quality of life survey results, which says many residents share in Warren's attitude. Ed Shavarnak directed the survey. The drop in the percentage of people mentioning crime as the top problem, I think, was pretty significant. Crime is still the biggest problem for the 500 residents in Orleans and Jefferson Parish. However, in Orleans, where the crime rate has been higher, only 35 percent of residents say it was the top Top issue. I think it was 61% at one time. And notably in Orleans Parish. I was just honestly about to say the streets, like they are horrible. The second highest mention goes to streets and infrastructure at 12%. Sewage and Water Board was the third highest at 6%. Uh, and there's also a downward trend in the perception uh, that crime is increasing in both of the parishes. With that said, the survey says a quarter of Orleans Parish residents hear gunfire at least a few times a month, with a high concentration in neighborhoods going out to New Orleans East. I definitely feel that the message is getting through. Definitely keep the peace, keep the, viol keep the violence away. This time of year, Warren chooses to focus on more festive issues, but she says she does have a lot of optimism for 2019. And like you, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News. And two more takeaways from the survey. New Orleans Mayor LaToya Cantrell is currently enjoying a 57% job approval rating, and nearly half of New Orleans residents approve of the job the city council is doing. To see the full survey, just head to our website, wwltv.com.